So you know that one kid who sits all alone that seems pretty chill, but when the teacher tries to get him to join the rest of the class, he starts, like, flipping desks and biting people? Yeah, that's literally Switzerland. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you're new and want to see more history videos, please consider subscribing. Now, on to the video. See how neutral I was in that last part? <laughs> Foreshadowing. So in case you didn't know, Switzerland is located right here in the center of Europe. One would think that since it is located right between the three great powers of France, Italy, and Germany, that Switzerland would kind of be like the fight box of Europe. But... That's because you're looking at a 2D map. Here's what Switzerland actually looks like. Who would want to invade that? It's actually way more complicated than that. After Napoleon's final defeat in 1815, the French were forced to withdraw their troops from Switzerland and take their frog legs elsewhere. The Swiss decided that they really hated not being able to fix clocks and yodel in peace and decided that no one was ever going to invade them ever again. They figured the best way to stay independent was to simply just stay out of wars completely. So, in 1815, Switzerland basically just told the world that they wanted no piece of its shenanigans and pretty much withdrew from international politics. Now, in the 1800s, no one in Europe really cared, because they were all busy conquering other less well-defended people in Asia and Africa, but when those easy targets ran out and a certain archduke was assassinated, Switzerland suddenly became very important. Let's take a look. So it's 1914, and World War I is doing its thing. You know, digging trenches, killing Frenches, drenching wrenches, the good stuff. But all of a sudden, everyone realizes that there's no more room to build trenches. Well, sure there's room. They could just go through Switzerland. Oh, well, since little Jimmy knows everything, I guess we can just end the video. Connor? What? I don't know why they didn't just go through Switzerland. Oh, well, let me freaking lay it out for you. Once it became clear that war was on the horizon, the Swiss military was mobilized and stationed all along the mountain passes that led into the country. At the start of the war, the Swiss army numbered around 250,000 men. Once it became clear that no one was going to invade Switzerland, though, the numbers started dropping, and by the end of the war there were only about 12,500 men ready for combat. The reason no one was interested in invading Switzerland is twofold. First, the terrain is just awful, and any offensive would just get bogged down super quickly. And second, if either side invaded Switzerland, Switzerland would just join the other side, and there would just be one more enemy to fight. So everyone just decided to leave the country alone. In between the wars, Switzerland actually joined the League of Nations, which was very non-neutral of them. But then the League started appeasing Hitler, and Switzerland was like, Hey, uh, guys, I think, um, uh, uh, I think that, uh, Hit Hitler is gonna, like, um, invade us or something. We should, uh, maybe, be, like, pre pre prepare for war, or y y you know. Well, like, I guess I'll just leave and be neutral again. So the Swiss went back to the drawing board with their whole national defense plan. They correctly predicted that the war would start in 1939, and therefore were more prepared than most countries to deal with it. When the war started on September 1st of 1939, Switzerland mobilized almost 650,000 troops in just three days. For comparison, Here's what I've been doing over the last three days. Why, yes, Mr. Brisby, of course you may have some more Milben keys out. Oh my gosh, Duffelglock, what have you done? Anywho, Switzerland was neutral, but their airspace was always being violated by both the Germans and the Allies, so the Swiss just decided that they would shoot down any plane that flew over their country. Wonder how that worked out. Now Germany wants to invade Switzerland and is amassing troops on the border. Way to go! But the Swiss had a plan. They were going to leave all their major cities to the Nazis because they were indefensible and then retreat up to the mountains to a bunch of underground forts and tunnels that were stocked to equip a guerrilla campaign for years. 
pretty much they were just going to turn Switzerland into a colder Vietnam, or Iraq, or Afghanistan, or Chesh... You get the point. They also stored a lot of gold for the Germans, because they figured if all of Germany's gold was in Switzerland, Germany would probably play nice. As the war went on, Switzerland's army peaked at 850,000 soldiers, more than enough to hold their own against the Germans for a while. But that didn't happen. Switzerland escaped the war pretty much unscathed, and then immediately went back to rigging their bridges with explosives and building bomb shelters. You know, old habits die hard. 